Hello and good day to the audience. In this short demonstration, I'm going to show you how do you go and apply a variable temperature to the part uh, to represent the cooling or in giving the heating at specific locations. As you can see that I'm working on an injection molded part with a hot runner fit system and cooling assigned to it. But that could be a scenario where I want to see that what would be the change in the temperature or the part profile temperature if I assign a higher temperature at these locations. So I'm not going to do anything practically, but I can assign in the software and making that this portion is particularly is a at higher temperature. How do we go and do that? Uh, I'm into the mesh settings. I'm, I'm going to select a uh, triangles in these particular locations like the planar triangles. I got selected much higher than what I expecting. So I'm, I'm selecting those. And as you can see that I selected these triangles and go into the properties. And in properties, uh, there is an option for the mold temperature profile. By default, it takes what is been assigned in the processing conditions. But if you want to overrule that processing conditions, I created a one sample profile like I want to show it to you. And I can edit it like in this case, uh, uh, it's from zero is 150 degree centigrade. And again, for one second, it will remain for 150 degree. And in next two seconds, it will drop down to 60 degree centigrade. And we can plot it. And you can see that it's beginning at like it starts with 150. And then it, it usually drop down in next two seconds. Uh, sorry, uh, in one second uh, to the 60 degree. Okay, or you can also have options of importing or this is an op also option of exporting this profile. Uh, uh, so you can, you can create your own profile like the default profile is set for like 60 degree for 1000 seconds. We, it's a, this, is a, this is what it just follows with the material assigned uh, details. Uh, if you don't want to do anything, just clip it blank and then you can and not only you can assign it to at one locations, but you can select the other locations as well. Like in this case, I select this and go into the properties and then assign and I can select the profile and, uh, for, and edit it. I will put it at a sample two and uh, I can edit it at say that hey, uh, I want to do it only for like in 0.5 seconds and uh, this and another, sorry, 0.5 seconds and again another uh, three seconds uh, for the three seconds it will be for like in the uh, say 30 degree and I can plot it and you can see that's uh, plotted it so you can keep it uniform or you can put it in profile uh, so this is the best way to try it uh, instead of putting the cooling lines or insert and see that how it impacts on your onto the hotspots and impact on the cool warpage as well uh, I hope this was useful and uh, you can implement it in actual reality. Thank you for your time.